بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ مرب زدنی علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین In this lecture, I will discuss the important concepts of integration by basic formula 1. For this lecture, I am using the work of one of my best students, Ms. Sayyida Fida of class 2020, the Lyceum. An important advice, avoid careless mistakes. Basic formula 1. Well, this formula is generally used in integration with partial fractions and product of sine and cos and product of like functions as well. This is the basic formula 1. This formula is valid for all values of n except minus 1. This is the function and its differential is multiplying with dx. If you differentiate f of x, you get f prime x. So this is the differential of this function. So when we have this type of situation, when the differential of the function is multiplying with integral operator dx, then according to basic formula 1, we copy the function, we add 1 in power and we divide function by the resultant power and we add the constant of integration if the integration is without limits. Now let's understand this formula through these examples. Well, this is the best example to understand basic formula 1. See, this is the function. If you differentiate this function mentally, then you will get 2x. The differential of x squared plus 4 is 2x. Since the complete differential is multiplying with the integral operator, therefore, according to basic formula 1, we just need to copy the function here, add 1 in power, and divide this function by the resultant power and add constant of integration. We can also use basic formula 1 when constant differential is missing. Like in this example, the differential of this function is 2x and just x is multiplying with dx. Something is missing in this differential which is 2 and which is constant. So when constant is missing in the differential, we can still use basic formula 1. We just need to copy the function, we need to add 1 in power, we need to divide function by the resultant power and we need to divide function by the missing constant differential. But make sure you use basic formula 1 when constant differential is missing. If variable differential is missing, then never use basic formula 1, like in this case. See, the differential of this function is 2x. Only 2 is multiplying with dx and x is missing. So here you cannot use and you can, you should not use and you can never use basic formula 1 because you have to divide a function by a variable differential and you cannot do this because variable can take any value including 0. So when variable differential is missing, then never use basic formula 1. Use basic formula 1 when either we have complete differential or constant is missing in the differential. So this is an important note, use basic formula 1 when either a complete differential is being multiplied like in this case or a constant from the multiplied differential is missing like in this case. 2 was missing. So we can use basic formula here and here and here we cannot use basic formula 1. Let's understand this formula with more examples. I told you we use basic formula 1 uh, to integrate the product of sine and cos and product of like functions as well. This is the product of like functions, trigonometric, trigonometric. Now if you check the differential of this function mentally, then you will get 3 cos 3 theta. The differential of this function is 3 cos 3 theta. Cos 3 theta is multiplying with d theta, only constant 3 is missing in differential. 
so we can use basic formula one here and according to basic formula one we just need to copy this here we need to add one in power we need to divide this by the resultant power and by the missing differential constant missing differential so this is the way to integrate these types of integrals another example the differential of this function is minus 6 sine 6 theta only minus 6 is missing and sine 6 theta is multiplying with d theta so according to basic formula 1 copy this here add 1 in power divide this by the resultant power which is 3 and divide this by the missing constant differential which is minus 6 another example well if the function is in denominator with any power except 1 then always bring function in numerator first and then integrate it since the power of this function is not 1 so bring it in numerator when you will bring it in numerator you'll get this thing now check the differential of this its differential is 2x so according to basic formula 1 copy this here add 1 in power the resultant power will be minus 1 now divide this by resultant power which is minus 1 and try to give your answer as a positive indices x squared plus 3 plus c now check this question first write this question in this way this is the function and this is the differential of this function when you differentiate ln x then you get 1 upon x so according to basic formula 1 you just need to copy this here this function has power 1 add 1 in power so this power will be 2 this will become 2 and divide this by resultant power and add c so i hope this lecture will help you to understand the concepts of basic formula 1 well i will uh, discuss integration by basic formula 2 in my next lecture inshallah good luck to everyone and allah hafiz